and Robbie Lawler. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. event of the evening. Hendricks is 30. Lawler is 38. He will have a five-inch reach advantage. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 14 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, USA. Introducing the challenger, Ruthless Robbie. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC Walter White champion of the world. Johnny Big Rig Hendrick! UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you don't touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of strikers versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat 
and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. Here we go. Punch the punch. Just misses with that one. And they separate. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown move? Oh, that's a big hook there. He's giving him so many different things right now. Oh, big left. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Wow. The takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? That when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He got it. He got it, John. Oh, he got it done. Absolutely. He finishes his opponent by way of submission. as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. To find the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Johnny so there he is. He came in the hunted. He remains as such. Congrats to the still UFC welterweight champion. Big effort out of the incumbent here tonight. He has so much pride in being the UFC champion, and you see it in the effort that he puts in retaining.